In this short video tutorial, we will first create a simple cube in Google SketchUp and then bring it into 3D Exchange 4 for repurposing. The first thing we do is open Google SketchUp. Inside, we will create a square base and then extrude it upwards to create a cube. We will also delete the top part in order to see the inner texture of the object. Once the cube is completed, we save it and import it into 3D Exchange 4. Now we drag and drop a map image onto the diffuse channel of the cube. Here, we notice that the texture seems grainy, just like a single color map. This is because the tiling size is different. This happens when you create a face in Google SketchUp without giving a texture assignment to that face. You see, in Google SketchUp, the default tiling setting is set to high. So when you drop a texture inside 3D Exchange 4, it will mimic the original high value of the tiling. To correct this, just open the Material Channel section where you have the diffuse map. Then, just increase the tiling until you reach the proportion that you are looking for. Later, we also add image maps for the opacity and bump channels. If I choose to offset the diffuse map, you will notice how it will lose sync with the other material channels, such as opacity and bump. To prevent this, just enable the Effect All Channels option. You may modify the UV settings to your choice. Remember, U will offset your map horizontally, while V will offset your map vertically. With the tiling option, we can easily create a one-room structure or a multi-story apartment. You may also click on the lock ratio option in order to sync the tiling and the offsetting. This will enable you to change both, but just modifying one parameter.